Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In the previous video, we saw that um, we have, although we have implemented all the functions to fetch our data, they are not yet fit to be used as is in our uh, React component because remember in the very first uh, um, video of this series, one of our requirements was that our uh, React components need to be agnostic of the, of the CMS that you are using under the cover, okay? And as, it's, and, and as things stands now, um, for example, if I look at this uh, image uh, that is coming from uh, Strapi, we see that these are very, there are some um, information here that are related to Strapi and not all the other uh, CMSs, right? Um, so in the goal of this video and the subsequent ones, we are going to, in this video and the subsequent ones, we're going to pass everything that is coming out of our of our CMS to make sure that they are completely agnostic of the CMS that is used under the cover. So we're going to start with um, uh, the images. OK, so obviously, when we um, deal with images, remember, we started this project by uh, scaffolding the uh, contentful uh, project. So we're going to have to replace this here um, by using the process that we have here. So asset um, Strapi API, uh, sorry, this should be assets. Um, it should be assets, Strapi assets, base URL, let's call it like that. Okay, and let's remove this here. Fantastic, that's brilliant. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to add this here like this process dot env dot this okay and that should give us um um that should make sure that we, we we are able to fetch and display images coming from uh, our strapi okay but obviously the goal of this video is to implement the reducer a reducer which is a function that will simply um be used in our data layer to pass um to pass the images so first of all i'm going to get this here very good and i have already implemented the reducer i'm just going to copy it here like this okay so what is this doing well it's very simple we are simply telling uh i think i should call it assets like this all right so we are basically telling um um our code we are basically um Telling that every time we get an image that's coming from uh, Strapi, like you see here with this data dot attributes, basically the thing that you're interested in are uh, in these attributes here, and we don't need this nest this nesting to be able to retrieve our data. And furthermore, the things that you're interested in are simply the URL, the alt, the height, the width, and the uh, content type all of which could be found in, in this here uh, you see here uh, the width the height the alt which is uh, in the caption we, we use the caption for that as you can see here because we don't have a, an alt um, in uh, strapi unless we define it manually uh, and finally the content type which is the meme type here okay and uh, that's basically it okay and once we have that, obviously, um, if I refresh this page, we won't see any changes because we are not yet using this uh, image reducer in our um, um, uh, jobs. For example, here at the moment, you're still returning the raw jobs, uh, the query that you're doing in the test. If I look at test API, um, test strapi, we are calling this function here, the get company, get company by slog. Okay, so if I go to the data layer and I find this here, get company by slog, you see we are still returning the raw company. Okay, so obviously we have implemented one reducer um, to uh, pass the images. Okay, in the next videos, we're going to create a reducer to pass the company, and within that reducer, we're going to use the image reducer to both to pass both the logo and the cover image and then and only then we'll be able to see the changes reflected here okay so thank you for watching this video and i see you in the next one ciao